Welcome to AT247, I'm Aaron Dean. A fight along the riverfront in Montgomery, Alabama has now led to charges. The fight broke out over the weekend. Video of the incident went viral, shows multiple people involved. We want to warn you that the following story contains material that some viewers may find disturbing due to the graphic nature. The Advocate Channel's Jen Sullivan has more details on what led up to the chaos scene and what police are saying about the incident. Chaos along the riverfront in Montgomery, Alabama. A massive brawl breaking out Saturday between two groups. The incident caught on camera. Punches thrown, chairs tossed, one man falling into the water. Three of the men involved now facing charges of third degree assault. It was disturbing. Uh, it was something that was surprising as well to, to see that take place and it was disappointing uh, from my standpoint. We're now learning more details about what led up to this. It all began when a black employee was trying to clear the dock space for a riverboat cruise, but a private boat was parked in the way. The co-captain can be seen arguing with one of the white men from the pontoon boat. The owners of the boat confronted him in a very hostile manner. That's when another man charges toward the employee and hits him in the face. That further escalated the situation, more people jumping in on the brawl. It's obvious that all they wanted to do was cause a ruckus. We kept asking them to move the boat. From the video, the fight appears to be largely along racial lines, but the Montgomery Police Department says as of now, there's not enough evidence to fit the criteria of a hate crime or inciting a riot, but said more charges could be filed. This department went above and beyond and un, you know, looked under every stone for answers. Originally, 13 people were detained and since released, but only three have been charged, one with two counts of third degree assault and two with one count each of the same charge. If convicted, the three men face up to one year in prison for each count of third degree assault. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. There was a home ownership boom during the pandemic and it was mostly fueled by millennials. Younger households are typically more likely to rent than own their home. But according to U.S. Census data released recently from 2016 to 2022, home ownership rates rose most for people under 44. Now, the term home ownership rate can be misleading because it isn't the percentage of Americans who own homes. It's the percentage of housing owned by the occupants as opposed to housing occupied by renters. By last year, the U.S. home ownership rate was over 65% up from the 64 and a half percent in 2019. The rise in home ownership rates during the pandemic could have been due to several factors. Those include people leaving big cities, less demand to buy a home, motivated sellers, and historically low mortgage rates. The Mega Millions Lottery announced that one winning ticket for Tuesday's jackpot was sold at a Publix in Neptune Beach, Florida. The details behind the winning ticket have not been released yet. The jackpot was worth an estimated $1.58 billion, the largest in lottery's history. Whoever won could also decide to take the lump sum payment option, which is about $783 million before taxes. Seven other tickets sold in six states for Tuesday's Tuesday's drawing won millions of dollars. And thanks so much for joining us for AC247. For more, you can go to theadvocatechannel.com and you can even subscribe on the Advocate Channel's YouTube page. For AC247, I'm Aaron Dean.